Hey guys, Amy Lover here, and today I'm going to be telling you some of my favorite animes that came out in 2016. So let's get started on the video. This video is protected under fair use. All images and music used are owned by their respective owners. So this list is in not um, any particular order. I'm just telling you some of my favorite animes that premiered this season. Um, it could be season 2 or whatever. Um, it's, but it's just animes that have been released in 2016, and this is not my full list, because if it was my full list, it could go on forever, because I only dropped three or four anime, I think, but these are just some of my favorites. So the first one I'm going to tell you guys about, which is a series I am in love with, it is Snow White with the Red Hair. Um, I actually watched season 1 and 2 in within 2016 um, when t I heard season 2 was coming out and everybody was saying really good things about it. I quickly watched season 1 and then I watched season 2 and holy crap it was so good. It is my favorite romance series um, as of now um, before it was Toradora and I love the series to the point where they don't have an English volume, um, English volumes of manga for sale of it, so I went and bought the Japanese volume. That is how much I love this series, so I definitely recommend you go check it out if you haven't. The second anime I'm going to tell you guys about is Yuri on Ice, and I did a first impression, so there'll be um, a little clicker thing right there if you want to go check out my first impressions on that. Um, but Yuri on Ice is a skating anime, which is something very different. Um, they subtly put some yaoi in, which is very nice for all you Fujoshis out there. And it overall is an amazing series, so I definitely recommend you guys go check it out. It is 12 episodes, and the opening is amazing because as the episodes go on, it's like a watercolor skating piece. But as the episodes go on and the characters grow, each opening changes and adds more color and more detail, which is very beautiful in the song is amazing so go check it out. The third anime I'm going to tell you guys about is a series that I really enjoyed. The comedy was good but then the ending ended up becoming serious which was kind of nice. It was Nanbaka which is about these four um, cellmates at this prison called Nanbaka and it is the like best prison in the whole entire world. The worst criminals go there but these group of these four guys are freaking hilarious. The th reasons why they went to jail and why they broke out of the old prisons are hilarious. Like one was like, um, he has to, the one character, I'm so bad with names, but the one character, he has to take medicine because he's like really sick. And the reason why he escaped from his old prison, he didn't like the taste of their medicine. The other one was there wasn't good food. Other one, the reason why he broke out was because he had a date. And then there's just the, the main guy, which would be 15, that's like his cell number. And he broke out for other reasons, but I'm not going to spoil anything. And the ending gets very serious, so if you're into comedy that kind of grows into an actual series, I definitely recommend it. Alright, so the next series I'm going to tell you guys about is My Hero Academia. This is an amazing 12 episode series that I watched as soon as it came out and I fell in love. I'm collecting the manga as of now. I have five volumes so I'm a bit behind um, but it is an amazing series of a growth of imagine being in a world where 80% of the population is superheroes and 20% is normal humans and your dream is to become a superhero. You watch them all the time save all these people and your dream is to save people but you are the unlucky 20% of people that aren't born with powers and then one day your favorite superhero just decides have my power like imagine if that was to happen so if you if that sounds interesting to you I definitely recommend My Hero Academia 
another series that I, as soon as I heard um, about season two coming out, I quickly went and watched season one. And this is Assassination Classroom season two, but I watched one and two like this year, and it is amazing. Like lots of people um, say, like the the concept kind of sounds weird, like having kids as, as assassins, but no, it's really good. The growth with the characters and because it's it's a story of growth. It's not really a story of these kids becoming assassins because none of them really become assassins. They're just trying to save the world because they think that the world's gonna end if they don't kill their teacher. So, um, if that sounds interesting, I definitely recommend it to any shonen fans, comedy fans, action fans, anything like that. Go check it out. The next series I'm going to tell you about is Kono... Uh, I can never pronounce the series. I have a paper there to look at, but I always have a hard time pronouncing it. Konosuba. Um, that's like the sh short form, I'm pretty sure, of the thing, of the anime. Sorry, I'm like so tired at this point. Um, but, so this series is about this boy who ends up dying. He's normally like a real shut-in. And he just ends up dying, and he thinks that he's, like, saving this girl from a car accident. But no, he died of getting hit by a tractor, and the shock killed him. So he goes to heaven, or whatever, um, or before heaven, it's kind of, like, in between. And he meets this god, and this god, um, was like, we can give you, like, another chance, or whatever. And puts him into this fantasy world, and yes, lots of fantasies... I, I keep seeing these memes everywhere, um, as soon as 2015 came by, it's like, um, there's, there was a lot of fantasy world animes that came out in 2016, but this one, um, there's a season 2 coming out this season, um, I'm not sure the exact date, but it is hella good, so just go check it out, it is really funny and the characters are very cute. And the last anime I'm going to tell you guys about is freaking amazing. Like, it's a movie, and it's called Kimi no Nawa, or the English name would be Your Name. And I probably watched this movie about 10 to 15 times. Like, it is so good. I tell everybody I know to go watch it, even if they aren't into anime. Because the story of it is about this country girl and the city boy. And the girl who lives in the country, she's just sick of where she lives and the type of, like, how she lives. She wants to be in the city, so she wishes that she'll be, um, a handsome city boy. Like, she wants to be where the people are, basically. And that ends up happening, so they have the power to switch bodies, but they can't really choose when they switch bodies, and it becomes a beautiful romance story between the two characters, and it's definitely something I recommend to anybody. I don't care... Um, if you don't like shoujo or romance or action, because this has everything that you would, anybody would like. Like, I understand some people might not like it, but like, honestly, my opinion, this is my favorite movie of all time. So definitely go check it out if you have the time. At the moment, the only way you can watch it is if you find some way online, which I did. Um, or you, if you live in Japan, then you're lucky because you can just go to a theater and watch it, but us other people can't. But it is so good, so you have, if you have the chance to go check it out, definitely go check it out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button if you want to get updates on when I post my videos. Um, also, I apologize for editing situations. If you don't read my descriptions and on my videos, you probably don't understand why my editing situation has changed. And with me and my editor, we've kind of lost contact in a way because um, f his Wi-Fi and just like a bunch of technical difficulties keep happening. So until things are situated with that, I will be editing my videos. So I'm trying my best to edit them to the highest quality as possible, but it's so hard because right now I'm saving money um, for a trip I am planning, and so I don't want to spend too much money on an editor at the moment. If I know, if I find out I'm going to be editing long term, I will get a high quality editor for you guys because I don't want you watching crap quality videos or I don't want to be wasting my time. 
So I will get a high quality editor and I will situate that, but as of now I will be just editing them very cheaply. Um, so I'm sorry about that, but I'm still going to make sure everything I'm talking to you guys about is of high quality. So yeah, alright, bye guys!